That first night I wrote out to you, nothing changes, not in a hurry anyway. <laughs> yeah. The opening line, really, yeah. for the song. And then um, a day or two later at the toilet in Block, there was a, a woman putting up a piece of paper on the... Yep. And just said, Inmar, tonight, other side of the rock. And I said to her, what's Inmar? And she said, yeah, yeah ceremony, corroboree. Yeah. Like, she yeah. said, you should go. Yeah. And I went, OK, I wasn't going to mess with her. That Inmar that night was the first time I really was present for deep ceremony mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and Inmar like that. And you can imagine being there, the rock at the background, mm-hmm. the full moon rising over the back, the fires, the people singing and chanting and mm-hmm. the spirit figures dancing. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, for a young fellow from South West Victoria, I, 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 I woke up in the Jukapa. Yeah. And um, it changed me. I went, wow, I felt that powerful intelligence yeah. at work, that deep spiritual connection to country. And I realised in that moment I was in someone else's country. Yeah. Um, I thought I knew what Australia was. I had no idea. <laughs> and that started this journey wow. for me then. I camped out that night with all the mob. Peter yeah. got a swag and I camped out on the ground hearing the lovely wash of Pindara voices across mm. the camp. And um, it has never left me, that feeling. Yeah. And that. And then I came back to Alice Springs after my time out at Uluru yeah. and I saw the racism again. Yes. I, heard, I, I saw the neglect. I saw... Mm the hard way that Aboriginal people were treated in their own country, I went, this yeah. is wrong, yeah. so wrong, yeah. you know. And, and it's um, really hard here in, in Central Australia because we're a close community. Mm. It's always in our face yeah. and we see it every day. And it's just not good enough. No. It's not good enough anymore. It wasn't good enough back then and mm. it's not good enough in the 21st century. And the thing I say to you can't to all non-Indigenous people, you can't say, oh, it's not my problem or I can, it's someone else's problem. It's our problem. Yeah. You know, yeah. the privilege we enjoy in this country comes on the back of an enormous amount of suffering for Aboriginal people. Yeah. This is Aboriginal country, first and foremost. That's yeah. the first always premise. Was, always will be. Yeah. And yeah. always will be. Yeah. And we've got to get this right, you know. And yeah. um, I challenge all non-Indigenous people to make this their concern, to make this their justice issue. It's not good enough to live on the spoils of someone else's misery. Yeah. That's abuse. Yeah. And we've got to fix this. I got angry back in 1981, Pam, when I saw what ha- was happening here after that beautiful experience yes and that's what solid rock yes. came from and i come to ring the bell again the guy is standing up yes. saying come on you mob you've got to wake up now you can't just be stealing people's country and not looking after things the right way you got to live the proper way stand yeah. the right way all right look we're going to have a bit of a break and you marcia and uh, rose are going to sing us a song so you wanna... you're going to be fired up now yeah. <laughs> wake up you mob yeah, wake up <laughs> I got a letter from Davy just the other day. Living in Queensland is not okay. Oh, Alice Springs. Can't find the money. Just to pay the rent The food and the hood They're still heaven sent It's been living on a razor's edge Trying to touch the sun He won't fall for the same old trick again Just gets worried every day This world that we love It might get swept away There'll be nothing left If we don't change our ways How's it gonna work out She said anyway She's been Touch the sun She won't fall For that same old trick Again
a fine line Just keep hanging in there That day will come 